G'day and welcome back, Faintly Saintly here, and today we're looking at Dice Player One. This is another roguelike style strategy game based around dice. So if you're familiar with Yacht Dice or Poker Dice, I think it's called in some cases, uh, seems to have a lot of influence from that. But uh, as you build your little uh, collection of dice, you get all these ones with uh, all these different effects, like Snake Eyes, after each roll, for each ace or two on the board, it gains 10 points. And uh, that all adds up and goes towards your multiplier down here. And uh, basically your goal is to meet the target score in each round. So think the Latro or Bingle Bingle, your dice here and the multipliers and modifiers that come with them all add up. And then you, you roll your dice, you pick an appropriate hand to go with and uh, basically try and rack up as many points as you can. Uh, now what's this guy telling me? In the game, click the book button at the top right to view the glossary. If you encounter something you don't understand, please refer to it actively. Um, from an initial look, this game has a lot going on. And not just the crazy music and graphics, which is all very, very cool and satisfying. I love the way it looks. Um, but all these dice modifiers, there's always something going off in the background that uh, takes a bit to get used to. I've only played basically through the little tutorial phase, so... Uh, I'm no expert, but we'll work it out as we go. So. Sparrow and Snake. Ah, oh, okay, I'm choosing basically a deck at this point. And this comes with Snake Eyes, which gives me extra points for that dice for every one or two after a roll. The Sparrow, all dice types are plus five points. Or the Snake. Small straights are worth plus 15 points. Achieving a small straight grants all dice types plus 25 points. Okay, so a little bit of scaling there if I aim for certain types of rolls. I'm not sure what these mean. Maybe they're just not unlocked yet. Let's get started anyway. All right. Okay, so those dice are in play before I even roll them. Okay, we do have a little achievement or a task over here. After achieving a total of 10 times of small straights, the small straight dice type multiplier permanently increases by 50% and the small straight permanently gains 120 points. So if I unlock that, it will increase my sort of multipliers over here. So I've rolled a 1, 2, 3, 3 and 6. And if you're not familiar with yacht dice or or poker dice, basically. Think of it like poker hands. If I get three of a kind, like three one, three twos, all those points get added up and I can add it to this slot to claim those points. I'm not sure about this game, but generally you can only claim each type once. So you really want to maximize that. So for example, if I, I could choose this right now and get nothing, be, well, get a few points, but get nothing because I don't actually have a good scoring three of a kind in my hand at the moment. What we can do, is lock a couple of dice and you get a couple of re-rolls. So I'm gonna lock these two to keep them and then I roll the rest. Okay, doesn't really help me, I'm gonna do it again. There we go. So I do have a three of a kind. So I can now see this score's gone up to plus 78, which is nice, or I could put it in the threes column because I've got three threes. But I think this is good. My target score is 200. This will be a good chunk out of that. So I'm just going to pop that there. And then we roll again. Okay, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3. What does this one do again? Small straight. Okay. So I could really keep a, a 1, 2, and 3 and aim for a straight. Two sixes. Maybe I can aim for a sixes here but now I'll roll again I'll have the faith and it's gonna bite me in the backside so I can put that anywhere choice means basically I can put any hand there it doesn't matter if it's three of a kind four of a kind or nothing um, it just depends on the points that I've actually rolled I might do it just to get it out of the way and I won't use up one of these hands in case a better roll comes along Single task. Okay, so that, that dice is what's giving me this. And it will destroy itself permanently once I achieve that, okay. Oh, let's try for a small straight again. I just need to roll a four. 
There it is. Small straight. I've achieved it once. And I can actually play that here for 85 points. But if I lock these down and roll this last one again, that's a six now. Small straight again. So this ticks over again for rolling that again, even though it's just a re-roll. And now it's up to 129. So that puts me over the target. And there's stuff flying everywhere. And we get some coins for our rewards. So we had 14 turns remaining. We had uh, level rewards, for, I guess, from dice we've played. And we end up with 19 coins. So after each round, we can choose a dice to add. A box car, after each roll, for each five or six on the board, box cars gain 10 points. At the beginning of each level, we'll gain X gold coins, where X is the current level number. The lovers, at the start of each level, summon love onto the board. When lovers enter the board, it gains 20 points. And love is all dice types gain 20 points until the end of this level. That seems like a crazy scaler. So is the boxcar actually, but we'll give this a try. So that goes in there. And now we have a little shop. You can buy fireworks. Advanced dice types gain 10 points and the multiplier increases by 30%. Gain five gold at the beginning of each level. Full, okay, that one goes off on full house, plus 25 points and grants all dice types plus 40. This dice gains 10 times X points where X is the number of cards on the board. I'm gonna go fireworks, I think. Dice blind box. The blind box will randomly contain two to four dice. After purchasing the blind box, you can choose whether to add these dice to your dice set. Uh, cost six, I'll have a look. I can add blade dance when entering the board, add a knife to the dice box. And when that enters the board, all dice types gain 15. Or justice has the following effects on each roll. If an A6 is rolled, all dice on the board gain 10 permanent points. That's interesting. I'm going to go that one. Actually, I'll, I'll take them both. Why not? So fireworks is in play. The small straight achievement is in play, or task, I should say. All right. Each time lover enters the board, love gains 20 points. It's entered the board. And this has gained 20 points, which affects all dice, I believe. Snake eyes, after each roll, for each ace or two, gain 10 points. So we had two twos here, so that's gained twice. Um, maybe I'll roll the sixes. Oh, no, I, <laughs> I locked the ones I wanted to keep. Anyway, that's fine. I can keep these and roll again. I seem to just get the same dice a few times in a row then. That's fine. Uh, three sixes. So I can do 63 there or 178 for three of a kind, which I think I'll do. Okay. One, one, one. All right. We've got four of a kind. Can I get another one? No. Oh, I see. So it's re-rolling the same dice that I already pulled out of the box. Gotcha. All right. Well, um, I might as well just use the aces up. There might be better options for choice later. Uh, let's see. I'm going to keep the five. Keep the one. Four of a kind actually is pretty good. 243. There we go. Three, three, four, four, six. Um, 
What if I keep three, four, six and aim for a small straight? There we go, there's a five. Small straight, that adds one to my task. And I can pop that there. So far, so good. And a few more coins, which is nice. And now a bonus. Gemini. While on the board, if there are two dice with the same value, it gains 50 points. Dwarf. When scoring, if the board has two and three, gain 10 points permanently. In the beginning of each level, gain X gold coins. Um, this is permanently. So if I ever roll a two and a three, this gains 10 points permanently. I think that's pretty good from a scaling perspective. Let's find out. What is this here? Doesn't want to tell me. Oops. Select a dice type for pitch enhancement. I can enhance sixes, three of a kind, fives, fours, or full house. That's only a small multiplier. Interesting. Um, I can re-roll this. Maybe I will. What's harmony? I don't know what that is, but it's got a huge multiplier. Um, there was a book up here, wasn't it? Harmony. Five dice with the same value. So five of a kind, basically. Seems rare. Large straight, choice, ace multiplier. Let's look at that. I mean, large straights are gonna be rare and gonna be uh, good point earners anyway, but large straights up to 331%, which is nice. What can I buy? Lesser summon skull. When this dice rolls a two, four or six, summon an imp, which gives all dice types 10 points. Destroy the dice, summon bread. <laughs> when entering the board, all dice types gain 10 points. When rolling an ace or six, summon the rainbow balloon. Um, that could be good. I'll get... Ah, I need a dice to remove a dice. Okay, let's get rid of the standard. And I'll get the balloon as well, I think. May as well spend that money while we're still figuring things out. Get rid of another standard dice. And move on to the next level. Okay, the lover is out. There we go. When this rolls at two, four, or six, we summon an imp. If an A6 is rolled, uh, maybe I'll keep these and I'll keep re rolling this one. Try and get that imp. Oh, well, actually, I'll keep the three of a kind. Hopefully turn that into something better. No, that's fine. Three of a kind, 156. My target is 800. Could do worse. All right, we've got this dwarf one. The board has both a two and a three. Well, we don't have either of those, so that's fine. Um, what if I keep the five, six, and eight for a small straight? Or what if I don't? So this little four of a kind, there we go. Not the highest scoring option, but. Uh, how many turns do I get? Oh, is this it here? Three out of 10? No, oh, that's the overall round. Um, how do I see how many rolls I've got? I've got re-rolls here. That's fine. Two, two, four, four, six. Um, Hmm, what can I do here? I'll keep that one. Keep that one. 
two, three, four. Let's see if I can make a little straight out of it or something. There we go. A large straight even. Perfect. I'm just going to go straight ahead and plonk that down there. And we're very close to the goal now. Two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to keep two, three, five. Hope for a one or a four and get a small straight. Try again. It's a shame. Um, well, I can put that basically anywhere and we're going to get enough points. Might as well go for choice. Gets that over the 800 level. Okay. The remaining turns 12. I'm still not entirely clear where that's listed. But there is a lot going on. Okay, showdown. Reduce the reroll count by one this round, and all dice type multipliers increase by 50%. When entering the board, ace, two, and three, each game permanent plus 10. Um, I won that one. Good horizon. That'll spread the love out. I'm gonna get rid of a standard. Rhythm enhancement. Why can't I see the tooltips on these two, but I can on this one? When a card is summoned, also summon a Void Tentacle. <laughs> okay. Four Leaf Clover. Four of a kind, plus 40 points. Well, that's nice, actually. Um, I'm going to buy that. I'm going to swap out a standard. I'm going to buy the Rhythm Enhancement. Threes, fours, four of a kind, twos or small straights. Scoring time plus one. Does that mean it scores multiple times from the one hand? We'll go for the small straights. Because they're aiming for those anyway. Okay. Need 2,000 score this time. That's a big jump. Alright, we've summoned a lot of things today, or in this turn. All dice types gain plus 10 from the imp, all dice types gain 15 from the balloon. And love, of course. Achieving Forever Clan grants all dice types plus 65. Uh, I'm going to keep the sixes and roll the rest. That's a nice little small straight. So I'm going to keep these. 3, 4, 5, 6. I'm going to roll it again. Counts as another small straight. And then I'm gonna plonk it straight in there. Alright, another small straight, is it? One, two, three, four. We'll do it again. And we'll do it again. Okay, I need one more to achieve that task, which is nice, but this I'm just going to pop into... Oh, can I do small straight again? I thought you could do it once in a round, but that's okay. Not complaining. One, two, three, four, there it is again. After achieving a total of 10 times a small straight, the small straight dice type multiplier permanently increases by 50%, and a small straight sorry, permanently gains 120 points. Ah, okay, now it's filled up, okay. Oh, I see, that last multiplier gave me an extra play of that. I believe. Now that's used up. Um, so, may as well... There you go, Got to make, make it a big straight. Or a large straight, there we go, pop that in there. Three of a kind, we'll keep those and roll the rest. It's a full house. 
We might as well go for that. Okay, I was wrong. This this does appear to be the number of rolls. Three of a kind again. Okay, one more time. Give me a two. Damn. That's right, three of a kind is fine. Two, three, four. Claim for another four of a kind. Maybe. If not, I'll put them in the twos. Another full house. Oh, let's pop them in the twos. And then I need bugger all to actually win this now, so I probably could have actually won it before if I put it in choice, but anyway. Uh, I'm just going to keep these. And for a higher total. No. Okay. Chuck him in choice. Get the win. I don't know what's the deal with the throwing stars. It's, <laughs> it's a bit crazy for poker dice. In the first round, all dice types gain 50 points. In the fourth round, they all gain 200. In the eighth, they all gain 500. Sure. Super bonus. Odd rounds plus one re-roll, even rounds one additional dice. Plus one re-roll each round. Even rounds draw two additional dice. Wow. This is the best of both worlds. I get extra dice or extra re-rolls. Let's go with that. Extra dice sounds good actually. Sounds really good. First time a full house is achieved, gain three gold coins and give them a plus hundred permanent bonus. Harmony. Someone trashed onto the board. Okay. This is a little bit crazy, isn't it? It's hard to keep track of all my modifiers and what dice I actually have. I'm guessing if you're really paying attention, you can build some good synergies and focus on really, you know, drill down into certain hand types. We'll have a look at this. Choice multiplier seems decent because I can always whip one of those out. So if uh, that's a nice thing to fall back on if I need it. Oh, there's so much going on. <laughs> Summoned an imp. One for four or five of a tie of a kind. Another imp. Give me a four. Never mind. Oh, I have one more re-roll because it's an odd turn. There we go. Another imp. <laughs> Four of a kind, which helped my four-leaf clover, I think it was. It's a global effect, so it doesn't have to be out. Four of a kinds get plus 40 points, and achieving that grants all dice sites 65 points. Which is good for everyone. So, four of a kind, there we go. 800 points off the bat. Target is 4,000 this level. So we have six dice now, which is a bit crazy. Four, five, six. So we get a small straight going. Our full house, actually, full house of fives and sixes is um, decent. It's gonna roll that last four. Three fives or three sixes, but I think full house is the way to go. Two, four, five, six. Actually, I'm going to keep the sword. Oh, no, it won't matter because it only triggers when entering the board. That's fine. I really just want a three. Please. No three, no rolls left. I can put that in small straight, but it'll waste that slot. But I do have two. Might stick it in choice. 
All right, back to the six dice now, which is lovely. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'll take that. And counts all six of the dice as well, which is nice. Okay, three of a kind is nice to start with. Okay, the board has both a two and a three, so this should be getting permanent bonuses. There it is, plus ten, which is nice. And we'll roll for more twos. And you've got one more roll. Not to be, that's fine. Really want some small straights happening here. Although... Go for the threes. Actually, no, I might be greedy. I'll go two, three, four. And then we just need a one or a five here. <laughs> How about both? Two, three, four, five. Okay, I'm 700 off on round seven out of 10. A nice small straight here would be great. Um, uh, three would be great, wouldn't it? Give me a three. Please. Okay. Gonna try my chances, really. Hmm. It's a bit of a shame. Um, I'll. I could just waste the aces spot. Keep that choice open. And let's see what I can come up with here. Okay, four, five, six is the obvious. Oh, although it could become a four of a kind here. I've already used that slot. Okay. I just need to roll a three with any of these three dice. Please. Do me dirty. I think I just need to finish the round, get it done. I definitely need to improve my smaller hands because getting one or two hundred at a time is not going to cut it once these uh, goals or the targets start increasing. Really? Herpes does not participate in scoring. Reduce the target score by X percent where X is the current round number. Okay. Yeah, yeah why not? <laughs> Reducing the total sounds like a good strategy. Okay. When entering the board, all dice types gain 50 points. After triggering three times, it's permanently destroyed. Um, I'm going to get both of these enhancements, I think. Fives, twos, ace, fours. Uh, I don't like the individual card multipliers, although that's good. I think choice is just some guaranteed points. Select the dice type for rhythm enhancement. I can add an extra choice, add an extra small straight. Um, small straight is 220, choice is 137, but choice is more likely. I think I'm gonna buff choice. That's just a little get out of jail free card with whatever I've got. I can chuck something in there and, and get some quick points if need be. Who knew they could make your dice into an engaging roguelike? <laughs> That's a bit 
bit random. I mean, it goes in the theme, they're turning everything into roguelikes these days, but this was not on my list of predictions. Um, let's stick with the fives there, see what I can come up with. One more roll. That's fine. So 105, that's not actually fantastic. I need 7,000. Oh well, now I need 6,860. Thanks, herpes. Okay, we've summoned an imp. One, two, four. Um, I'll stick with this actually. So we need a three. There's the three. Beautiful. Small straight. And I'll just keep rolling. And a few more points in the background. Oh, now I can do large straight. Small straight, funnily enough, gives me more points. Two, five, six. Maybe we'll keep the sixes. Two, three, five, six. Just hoping for a four. There we go. Bit of a risk, but paid off. Get a small straight in there. I think we might be in a bit of trouble this one. This is a quite a target. Unless Herpes comes out and really brings that down for me. Um, three, four, five, six. I've already used my small straight. Hope for a two. Large straight is nice. Two, three, four, five, six, and I'll just roll this last one to see what else it might give me. Sets this off, sets that off, which is nice, and then I can pop that straight there for elite points. It's had a lead there, but that wasn't a lead at all. But anyway, okay, down to six five for the target. Thank you, herpes. I'm going to go for three or four of a kind here with these sixes, hopefully. Last chance. Come on, give me something good. Hmm. It's a shame. Has to be choice, unfortunately. Six out of ten, I'm oh, barely on track. Full house, though. Five, 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 two, two. I'll take it. Plonk it in. Three, four, five, six will be good. Small straight, but I've already used that. Come on, give me some fives. Hmm, not the best. I don't want to waste a choice in that, but I'm running out of turns. As I sort of mentioned in the last game, uh, all these little ones are going to kill me, I think. I just haven't got the uh, scoring potential. Although, all of a sudden these are looking pretty good. Go three sixes. There we go. Make that four. This could be good. In fact, it could be run saving. That combined with the uh, four leaf clover, buffing on four. And we 
destroy the total or the target. Grave digger for every five dice destroyed, gain fifteen gold. This is just a regular clover for three of a kind instead of four of a kind. That could be good. The first time a four of a kind is achieved in each level, the four of a kind dice type gains permanent one fifty points. Hmm. That's good, but I think this spreads me out a bit more, gives me more opportunities. I mean, ideally I'll have both, but... To choose wiser there. Rainbow Light. This dice's permanent points are multiplied by 1.5. Each reroll has 20% chance to be permanently destroyed. Oh, there's the red flute. I'm going to grab that anyway. Um, I can choose Rhythm or... Tumba. Rhythm. Gives me an extra choice score. Sounds reasonable. So now I can do choice four times, which is nice. Okay, let's get some four of a kinds going. Or a small straight. Or a large straight. I'm just going to pop that straight down then. So I need 10,000. That's a strong start anyway. Four, four, five, six. Six, five, four. Just need a three, please. There it is. Small straight achieved. Target's been reduced. Thank you to Herpes. I just kind of need uh, three, four of a kind, small straights. I mean, I could do one, two, four. Get a three here. Or I can get two, two, four, four and hope for a three of a kind or a full house. Hmm. Bit of a shame. To go to choice there, um, but I'm way off the pace now. Need some big scores. Three, four, five. We get our small straight. Do it's over a thousand, so it's on the right track. One, two, two, three, six. Keep the twos. Choice again. Plenty happening here. Whoa. Okay. That's lovely. Harmony, sixteen hundred, four of a kind, eighteen hundred. Thank you to the full clover. But if I keep those pinned down and roll again. Four leaf clover multiplies again. And again. Just 
So, that's pretty handy. Okay. Getting interesting now. Thank you again for reducing that target saw down to 9,000. What have we got? Not much. Okay, four of a kind. Oh, I can't use it though. Which is a shame. I can do three of a kind. Oh, that's all useless. Really. One, one, two, three, three, six. Go for a four of a kind again, I suppose. There's another one. Oh, full house as well. 1700 points. Just gonna roll while preserving my full house there. It'll trigger those things again. Should get us in range but gonna need a bit of a, a bit of good luck here I think oh although saying that target score is just down to 8100 so achievable right there will do it. I'm gonna hope for another four. There it is, four of a kind. Four of clover is happy. So it's three of a kind. One more roll. Okay, beautiful. And I should comfortably now tip over that 8,100 target. So really that herpes, I laughed at it. And it sounds ridiculous every time I think it, but it's coming in clutch for me. In fact, I'd like another one. Double herpes. First time a full house has achieved each level, gained three gold coins. Full house plus 25 points. And 40 permanently when entering the board, four, five, and six. Each gain a permanent 10 points. Um... Full House is kind of rare. I think I'll go with this one. I'm running out of standard dice to replace. Five star wanted. First Harmony gives me 20 gold. Okay. Craft dice by spending coins. How'd I miss that feature? I don't think I want to because I really want both of these enhancements actually. Choice multiplier has to be. And rhythm enhancement. An extra large straight or more choices. I think. Actually, I think four of a kind because of the ridiculous multipliers we're getting on that. Another goal of that would be fantastic. Each dice can only be crafted once, so please think carefully. Another herpes or another clover. Destroy it. Echo it. An additional summon opportunity. Permanent upgrade. Obtain a copy. All dice types plus 30 points. That's interesting. I wish, actually, if I had known that was there, I could be in here duplicating this for next time. I mean, I'm happy with the upgrades I got, but I'll know for the next level if I survive that long. Something to aim for. 20,000 target. Oh boy. I think I'll be relying on four of a kinds here, and uh, not much else is going to save me. Oh, a small straight could be a good one here. Three, four, five. 
One, two, three, four, five. Large straight. Suppose I have to. Target score just went up. Did it? Oh no, it's just gone down. No, it's gone up. One of my uh, dice must do that. Okay. Give me some fours. No, that's, that's not what I asked for. What a waste. Um, that just has to be a choice just to get that out the board. So it needs to be going at a pace of 2,000. Target score's going up. What is happening? Powerful seal gradually unseals. Each turn when scoring, if there is a 5 or 6 on the board, the target score increases by 3%. Oof. That's troubling. Aha, uh -huh, but four of a kind. And I get a couple of rolls with it as well. Nothing. But the target score just increased by basically what I just earned. So I get the feeling I'm not getting out of this one alive. <laughs> one, one, three, three, four. Two, three, four, five. Small straight. One, two, three, four, five. Could do a large straight, but uh, it's already been taken. This is brutal, this powerful seal. straight again getting little buffs each time I roll but not gonna be enough to save me I don't think I just went up by 1800. So I really need to get rid of the fives, don't I? Two, two, five, six. Definitely get rid of those two. So maybe I'll for some twos. Look for a four of a kind. Nice. One more roll. That's fine. That won't increase the total. Make the four-leaf clover happy. Makes my task happy. And I'll plonk that there. I mean, it all seems a bit futile at this point. But, you know, still learn. Potentially. Mm. 
Get rid of the six, I'll keep these. Give me a two or a four. There we go. Full house. Jesus, target score is just insane. Going for three of a kind. I'm gonna get that five and six out of here, so we'll try and roll those. I'll just unlock something, I didn't quite catch what that was. Um, there we go. Three of a kind, better than nothing. for a harmony which is a bit unlikely and that's all she wrote I think for this run okay that message is cut off but it says we can unlock dice and they'll appear in the pool for each game so unlock the Empress. As all faces as three, when entering the board, three permanently gains 15 points. Unstable compound, all dice types gain 20 points. Multiplayer increases by 15. Achieving a harmony causes an explosion, permanently reducing all dice type multipliers by 10. That's risky. And Bloodsucker, when entering the board, it absorbs one permanent point from all other dice on the board and gains a permanent plus 10. Interesting. Interesting. So you can see, you know, there's some potential for synergies and interesting builds with this. And I made it to the second boss. So there's three bosses in that run. So I made it most of the way there, but just fell a bit short. Interesting. Yeah, it's quite fun, quite satisfying. I mean, you know, your dice isn't exactly the most exciting game, but this finds a way to make it uh, really interesting. And um, I mean, the combination of the music and the graphic and the design, as well as all the effects and all the little bits and pieces you have to keep track of it's um made it yeah quite a quite an entertaining uh package here but i'm gonna leave it there so once again this is dice player one i'm gonna leave the link to this one in the description if you'd like to check it out the demo is available now and you can wishlist it this one is due for release in quarter three 2024 so keep an eye on that one if it interests you and thanks again for watching if you want to see more like this please consider subscribing it helps me out a lot it keeps you in the loop when new videos drop I cover all sorts of games from VR games to indie games and I'm always open for game suggestions so feel free to let me know in the comments as well if there's any game you want me to check out. So thanks again for watching and I will see you next time.